In this video, essentially we are going to talk about artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning. I'll give a couple of examples to demonstrate the underlying innate differences and bust few myths and fiction around these buzzwords. Also, I'll briefly touch upon what it takes to make a career in this emerging technology. Now, let me begin with the question, what is AI? John McCarthy, who happens to be a pioneer in the field, says AI is science and engineering of making intelligent machines. Over the years, many other experts also defined AI to the best of their understanding and some of them are a branch of computer science dealing with the simulation of intelligent behavior in computers. A computer system able to perform tasks that normally require intelligence such as perception, speech recognition, decision making and translation between languages. To further demystify AI, let me tell you that AI can be a whole lot of if-then statements or complex statistical models mapping raw data to particular labels. Here, key point to note is that these if-then statements are simply rules explicitly programmed by humans. And put together, these if-then statements are sometimes also known as rule engines or expert system. For example, these rule engines may mimic intelligence of an accountant with the knowledge of tax code who takes information you feed it and runs the information through a set of static rules and computes the amount of taxes you owe as a result. Now coming to machine learning. Machine learning is a subset of AI and that is every machine learning algorithm and its application is AI but not the same vice versa. For example, rule engines, expert system could all be described as AI and none of them are machine learning. Machine learning algorithms are intelligent in deciphering the hidden rules, patterns or information from the raw data by itself. Here there are no explicit handmade rules by the humans. The learning part of machine learning means that ML algorithms attempt to optimize along a certain dimension. They usually try to minimize error or maximize the likelihood of their prediction being true. They are, in short, an optimization algorithm. Algorithms self-adjust their parameters during training based on the nuances and subtleties of the data. Spam email detection can be one of the easy examples to understand machine learning. Researchers initially tried to identify key patterns in the emails which were considered as spam, such as the sender, recipient, message ID, date and time of transmission, subject, number of words beginning with capital letters and several other email characteristics. Most spammers try to hide their identity by forging email headers or by relaying email to hide the real source of message, etc. Based on these patterns, Researchers developed classifier models to categorize the incoming mail as spam or not spam. Arthur Samuel, again one of the pioneers of the machine learning field in 1959, defined machine learning is a field of study that gives computers the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. That means machine learning programs have not been explicitly entered into a computer like the if-then statements. Machine learning programs, in a sense, adjust themselves in response to the data they are exposed to. In machine learning, neural networks are one of the most important algorithms which happen to be inspired by the human brain. They keep on measuring the error and modifying their parameters until they can't achieve any less error. So now let's talk about deep learning. What is deep learning? Deep learning is actually a subset of machine learning or artificial neural networks. Yes, you are right. Deep artificial neural networks have revolutionized the world in, by setting new records in accuracy for many real-life problems such as computer vision, speech recognition, speech synthesis, language understanding, text generation, etc. And etc. For example, deep learning is part of DeepMind's well-known AlphaGo algorithm which beat the former world champion Lee Sidol at Go in early 2016 and the current world champion Ki Ji in earlier 2017. The term deep in the deep learning refers to the number of layers in a neural network. A shallow network has one hidden layer and a deep network have multiple such hidden layers. Multiple hidden layers allow deep neural networks to learn the features of the data in a hierarchical manner. 
because simple features recombine from one layer to the next to form more complex features. For example, in face detection, deep neural networks learn features based on pixel intensity and in the following layer, based on these features, learn and identify sharp edges in the images. In the subsequent layer, sharp edges are used as input feature and facial properties such as eyes, ear, etc. are learned. And at last, based on these facial features, algorithm decides where there exists a face in the image or not. However, deploying deep neural networks is computationally expensive business and it is one of the primary reasons why specialized hardware GPUs are being designed and developed to meet the demand of researchers so that they can process data to train deep learning models quickly. Now if we have to extrapolate on what Arthur Samuel said about machine learning, we can say that deep learning is a field of study that gives the computer the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed but it actually tends to result in higher accuracy, require more hardware or training time and perform exceptionally well on the machine perception tasks that involve unstructured data such as blob of pixels or texts. So now what's in the future? In order to make career in AI, we need to understand different roles which are available in the industry. Primarily, if I have to classify the roles, I would broadly classify them into two categories. One, analytics and data science oriented uh, consulting roles and AI based product development roles. Both the roles have certain overlap and key among those overlap is the perseverance and desired acumen to explore and understand the hidden insights in the data. Preferred choice of programming language is either R or Python. In my experience, R along with the visualization tools such as Tableau, ClickSense, etc. are more inclined towards data science and analytics consulting whereas Python is preferred to us of researchers and developers in the advanced field of AI such as natural language processing, speech recognition, computer vision or reinforcement learning etc. If you are looking to start a career in AI, ML or deep learning, you can head to www.manipalprolearn.com and check out the postgraduate programs. With this, I'll stop and take this opportunity to wish every aspirant the best of luck and immense success in their pursuit. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Do like the video and share it and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos. And check out the exclusive coupon codes for our YouTube learners in the description below and visit manipalprolearn.com to redeem them.